Oi, oi, YouTube, it's your boy, Unknown Brute, aka Brute, and today I have a 70 and 7 solo brutalization on the map standoff using the Scar H with Fast Mags, Stock, and Suppressor. Now, it's not one of the usual class setups of mine, but since I've been gaming with the HCU boys, I found myself a lot more confident in my abilities. You know, I've got a lot more diverse, whereas I would have usually used uh, Vector or some kind of SMG, I feel confident that I could use and do well with pretty much any weapon now. So that's kind of what I wanted to talk about today. I want to talk about that whoop, HCU Team GB. I know there's plenty of decent standard gamers around Europe, but I feel that they're just kind of staying in the closet. So, what I want to do is I want to clear up some misconceptions about the HCU and try and entice some of them out, you know? So, one of the biggest misconceptions I feel is that people think you have to be a beast to be down with the HCU. And that just ain't true. If you check out one of my first commentaries, whoop, HCU alert, you will see that I used the HCU videos on, to help me throw up a swarm. But not just one swarm, it helped me get to the point where I was throwing up multiple swarms. So I wasn't a beast when I joined the HCU. Um, basically what it is, is playing with better players makes you better yourself. And that's just a fact. So don't feel you have to be a beast to be down with the HCU. So I just wanted to clear that up first and foremost. Secondly, another misconception is you have to be a commentator. You have to have a YouTube channel or something like that. Well, that just ain't true. There's plenty of gamers that, that run with the HCU that are not commentators. They don't have their own channels. You know, if they do get good gameplays, they holler a HCU member and say, look, I got a good gameplay the other day. If you want it, it's yours. And everyone will be happy to take your gameplay, you know. So they go on there. They grab it. They render it. They commentate over it or whatever the person would like them to do with that gameplay then they upload it to the HCU channel it's as simple as that you don't have to personally be a commentator to be down you know another misconception is that you have to be from America or Canada or something like that well that just ain't true the HCU is a worldwide community channel you got me in the UK, you got Shreky who's in Scotland, you got Respono, uh, fuck knows where Respono's from. <laughs> no, I'm just messing Respono. We we know where you're from now. You're you're from uh, you're from France, right? <laughs> um We've even got gamers from Australia, you know, we got gamers from all around the world. So you don't just have to be American to be down with the HCU. So that's that, you know, oh, you don't have on. to be that. That's that cleared up. Cleared up. Right. The whole clan thing. Right. HCU is not a clan. People, if you're in a clan and you're like, well, I, why do I need to be part of the HCU? I'm already part of a clan. Well, you're wrong, my friend. The HCU is a community channel. We're made up of solo players and clans alike. I mean, we got RDG clan, we got UEA clan, there's plenty of clans. You can just check out some of Shreky's clan battles and you'll see, like, the last one I think was against Dad's clan. You know, we're, we're made up of plenty of clans. You don't have to be just a solo player to, and looking for a clan to be down with the HCU. You know what I'm trying to say, yeah? So, whether you're a solo player or in a clan... Just bring everyone and be down, you know? As long as you're about hardcore, that is all that matters. So I think that's kind of all the misconceptions wrapped up now. So if if you was, like, holding back for any of those reasons, then squash that shit and be down. Now, if you're not sure how to contact us to be, you know, part and, uh, and to join in with all the festivities... <laughs> um, what you got to do is, first and foremost, go to the HCU website and subscribe. And that, then you'll be able to find out, you know, what's going on and when it's going on and, and, you know, all that's happening. If you've done that and you're still kind of just watching videos and you're not actually getting involved, well, then message me personally on YouTube. I don't mind. I'll, I'll be happy to answer any questions or let you know anything you need to know, yeah? Um, also, you could add me on Xbox Live. My gamer tag is exactly the same as my YouTube name. Unknown. Uh, so, you know, just 
add me up. It's all good. It's all love. I don't mind. Um, a good person to talk to also is B Monstrosity. Um, you know, he pretty much him and Ghost make shit tick. So contact B Monstrosity, and he, he can also help you out with any questions. In fact, he he knows how to talk properly. So. He might be better than me to help you <laughs> answer all your questions. <laughs> um, so let's get into this gameplay. Right, okay. So in one of my last commentaries, I asked um, some of my subscribers, like, you know, uh, for feedback on what score streak setups they use, because a few people commented on the score streak setups I was using. So one of my subscribers suggested to me the Lightning Strike, the Stealth Chopper, and the AGR. They said it goes absolutely ham. Now, I've used all of those score streaks before, but usually things like the lightning strike, I'll use it to jump me up to my VSAT, which would lead me onto my swarm. So I thought, fuck it, you know, scrub the swarm, let's give this shit a try. So I quit this, and this was, I think, the second gameplay that I used it, and at the start of this gameplay, I left a little bit at the start, and I added in the end of the gameplay before this, and just showed the medals. And in the medals, I was like, three blood firsties, uh, three triple kills, and nine double kills. And that was the first game that I tried this setup. And this was the second. I went 70 and 7. So, this shit is pretty beastly. I ain't gonna lie to you. This shit is pretty beastly. And um, these score streaks just roll nicely. I mean, when you get one, you get the second and the third pretty much straight away. So, a lot of the times, when you try to call in one, you end up calling in the third. Because you just... They just all come at once. <laughs> so, this shit rolls beautifully. Now, as you can see, I went absolutely ham on these kids. Um, at the end of this gameplay, I'm going to let this shit run and let you listen to the little chat that was at the end. It was pretty funny. It was quite entertaining. Um, I think we're close to the end now, so I'm just going to kind of talk you through what's going on. So, I just killed someone, so I decided to wait him out. He didn't come, so I bumped around the corner and fucked him up anyway. <laughs> Grab a couple of free tags and then watch this. Ah, oh, that is just spraying at his finest. And what I missed, my stealth chopper picked up. Then I got that dude who was waiting for me to go out and pick up them tags. So, I jump up into the window. Grab his tag. Decide to duck in this corner, call in my lightning strike, boom, 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 let's see what happens. Now look at that, two piece out of the lightning strike, I'll take that all day long. So I'm playing it a bit cautious now, just so I guarantee my AGR stealth chopper. Duck round this corner, I'm just kind of checking my corners thoroughly. There I get my AGR because someone collected a tag for me. So I throw that shit out. I know I'm pretty close to my stealth chopper because they, they roll like one after the other. So I'm playing it a bit cautious. See a tag there. Grab that. Stealth chopper's in. Throw that up. And watch this death. Like what was I thinking? <laughs> I just stood yeah, there and let myself die. Fucking around. Oh Christ. So that's the end of the game. I've been unknown, bro. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> Yeah. What's any dodgy air going on, mate? Have to let me know your trick, Black. I'll tell you the trick. Lightning strike, AGR, stealth chopper. Fucking works a treat. Hello. The other team was just a bunch of dicks, man. Yeah, that helps as well. <laughs> yeah. A bunch of camping fox. And twist this slide, but you're a dick, mate. You're a camping dickhead. <laughs> Thank you before then the stairs and your remote goes in your throat, cunt. <laughs> Prick. <coughs> I'm boosting here, would you meet? <laughs>